Hello wonders and welcome back. It's Pan here. At least it's going to be before I actually just melt and then I'll just be a pond on the ground. It's quite hot here today as you can tell from my cute little fan. And that is because it's rain season here in Jiangsu province, which is where I am right now here in China. And that means that it's hot and humid and it rains and it sucks and I just want to cry. I make a little fun, it's not really helping so I'm just gonna put it away. Anyway, since it's just too hot for me to talk, there's just too much water around me and not enough inside of me and my mouth is dry and my hair is even fuzzier than usual as if it was even possible. I thought I was sharing with you something different and that is my average day. Actually, I'm here as an au pair, which is like an exchange program, but instead of studying, because it seems like I'm just too old for studying, I actually take care of a child. And most of the time it's really fun and fulfilling and I'm learning so much just by talking with her and spending time with the family. Most of the time, sometimes, uh, let's just say it has ups and downs, like everything, I guess. So I'm going to share with you one of my weekdays, which I don't really have much to do, so I'm just going to be me lazing around, doing nothing all day. But yeah, I really hope you don't get too bored. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. So basically what I would do is go downstairs and have breakfast or lunch or dinner, whatever it is. Uh, usually lunch and dinner with the family and breakfast. Uh, with the family as well and the kid so I'm with them then I would just go upstairs brush my teeth and take showers all that stuff and then I would spend most of the day lazy around so reading books listening to music practicing yoga going for walks going to the supermarket all these kind of things but yeah I guess just watching me doing nothing all day would be quite boring so I thought of taking you somewhere to show you around where I live and that's what I'm gonna do now. So oh, this is the community I live in and it looks quite western I think. It doesn't look Chinese at all and as you can see it's quite big. I mean it's not just these houses, it's even over there, all these buildings and all the ones they're still constructioning over and over there and everywhere pretty much. It's all one big community in Zhurong. It's quite western looking. I guess that's because Chinese people really like western stuff so they just kind of make it look as it is western <laughs> country even though it's not. And here is the way, as you can see all the big buildings, they're all just one big community. It's something I don't really get in my country, and I guess most countries really don't. And it's quite, I mean, there's, it's quite empty, all these houses, pretty much there's like no one because it's a new community. So there's pretty much no one in here right now, but... Uh, which is, I mean, for me it's good because it just means it's quiet, there's not much noise and nobody bothers me too much. And yes, also those big buildings over there, they all still have the same community. So it's like pretty much a small town somehow, not a village, but they do call it community, I guess they call it community as well. They have workers that take care of everything and like that one. And here's some playground for kids. So it's basically like shops and there's also more buildings in that direction you can see. You could see um, there's a market, restaurants, shops, over there the supermarket and that's where we're going right now. So, 
there's no one here, like usual, like it's basically empty, it's a huge supermarket and there's no one at all. I should probably do a uh, try Chinese snacks, challenge or something, it could be quite interesting. Chinese snacks, most of them I have no idea what they are, these are like kind of made with beans, but they consider it as candies. They're sweet and made with beans, if I'm not wrong. I ate this before. Snacks for kids, for everyone. They're just pretty much the same in you know, the world. But they can become, I mean, they can be quite strange when you try them in Chinese versions. Sometimes you would expect them to be sweet and they're not. We expect them to have something particular inside it. Oh, sweets, candies and snacks. And these you buy them by weight. So you actually put them in a, in a box, in a um, bag. And then you buy them by weight. And they're like very cheap. 1880. RMB per 500 grams, it's like very cheap. Yeah, I feel like I should probably try this some days. It would be quite interesting. <laughs> because as I said, sometimes they look some way and you expect them to be sweet or to have something inside and they don't. Sometimes they just have the strangest things. You don't really know what you're eating most of the time. To this place. We like buying something, otherwise it feels strange just to come to the supermarket and get nothing. Oh, this is strange. It's squishy. I wonder what's inside. I'm not sure I want to know. I'm here having um, Chinese ice cream. They never advise to eat Chinese ice cream, but who cares? I feel like having ice cream anyway. Mm. I'm just because I can. I mean, I'm sorry, but as much as I love Chinese food, sometimes you just get tired of it and you need an ice cream. And that is why I'm having ice cream right now. Mm. How do you feel? So good. Really so good. Mm. It's amazing. Amazing. And then I guess I get back home. Yeah, lazy usual day, like usual. I don't eat ice cream every day actually, but you can guess that much, I guess. Mm. This just makes me so much better every time, so much better. It's amazing, amazing. So I really hope you guys didn't get too bored about what you need, just doing nothing and lazing around. I promise this is just a weekday, in the weekend I actually work, it's not always like that, you know. But as I said, being an au pair in China, it's, it's been fun. I've been learning so much about Chinese culture, Chinese lifestyle, why they think some things, why they do some things. And just by spending time with the host family, spending time with the child, playing with her, talking with them and traveling around. So it's been really, really fun. And every day I'm so happy that I made the choice of coming here. So. If you guys actually didn't get too bored watching this video, 
please do like this video and comment and let me know if you actually think it would be fun to be an au pair if you'd like to do the same or if you did if you have stories to tell me please do so because I'm so interested to know about them and to you know compare my craziness with yours I guess please do subscribe to my channel if you want to be updated every time when new video is out please do follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I always update during the week pictures and things I do so if you want to follow me even during the week please do follow me over there and I'll see you guys next week and that is if I don't actually melt before Oh,